take a look inside the prison. So I wanted to walk with me through Spanish town, right? A a a a a quick rundown of the day-to-day -day life in Spanish town prison. You understand? As you look around, you can see it's just bare, pure, poor youth, very poor youth, come from poor background. These are the type of youth in prison. You don't have to find a rich man in prison. You don't find any politicians in prison. You understand? When certain people broke the law, they don't get punishment. But even if the poor don't broke the law, they free them and send them to prison. Because lots of innocent youths are here. Lots of innocent youths are here. Now we are going to touch the topic of mentally ill inmates. Lots of mentally in, ill inmates are here. They don't get proper medication. Because in Jamaica, in prison, when you come to medication, when you come to your medical, they give you the worst ones. Because the government don't spend money on, 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 on medication that is effective. So if an inmate is mentally ill, he can get the worst type of medication. If an inmate has a, um, a sickness, an illness, he get the worst type of medication because it is not effective. When it comes to medication in prison, it's a whole, it's trust me, it's, it, it's a mess. You understand? That is a whole different issue. I have to do a next, video, a next video to talk about that alone. You understand? Most of these youths are suffering. Youths living like dogs and John Crows. Youths treated less than a human being. And a Randall and Jai Stone. And the Prime Minister and the Security Minister. And a dear rule and dear watch. You understand? They commit many atrocities against the poor. The poor has been violated. There's an infringement upon our rights, upon our fundamental rights, our institutional rights. You understand? Under our human rights.